This is a $2,000 studio microphone, and this is a $200 entry-level model. One is used by some of the biggest artists, and the other is used by those who want to be. In 2023, microphones are better built, most sound phenomenal, and they cost a whole lot less. But at which point is the mic you have good enough? Today I'm going to test one of my favorite entry level microphones and compare it to its $2,000 big brother. Let's go. So in the past few months, I made a few YouTube shorts comparing cheap versus expensive microphones and to my surprise, many of you picked the more affordable option. Yes, budget microphones have come a long way over the past decade, but that doesn't mean a microphone like this is not worth it. The key things that really set microphones apart are how well they are built, the accessories, features, the design and materials used for making the capsule and other key components. Is it a fit? or tube mic and finally how does it sound when you take these blue microphones out of the box both come in a wooden case and both have the same shock mount so accessories do not play a part here once we take the two microphones out of the box the first thing that's clear as day is the difference in size there is a lot more going on in this kiwi compared to this baby spark the build of the spark is actually surprisingly solid compared to the kiwi but the materials on the kiwi just just have that premium feel and I notice these screws that means this microphone can easily be modified or fixed which means it can last forever the spark not so much the spark does offer a roll off and attenuation but the polar patterns on the kiwi is just a much more valuable touch now a lot of the things we just had a look at plays a very big role in the price I personally believe that a microphone can give off its own vibe and in many cases make an art more comfortable and confident standing behind something like this versus this. Honestly, these are just small nuances that don't affect the most important reason for buying a microphone, and that is how it sounds. For the price of one of these, you can buy 10 of these. Question in terms of sound, is the Kiwi 10 times better? I don't work hard when it's easy. I put in work when it's hard. Girl, I never believed in love until I had yours This is more than a season And I'm not just sprung I'm not afraid to tell you That you're the one The one I wake up thinking about The one I can run to when I'm feeling down Life is all good when you're around Oh, nobody from the past is beating you right now Cause I'll take you home to mama Let you meet my friends Cause you don't come with drama So I love you till the world ends You ain't more than worth it And I don't feel like I deserve it You've got the pieces You're my kind of perfect now, you can clearly hear a difference in sound. The Spark is slightly muffled, where the Kiwi has a clearer, more well-rounded sound. I did like the sound of the Spark though. Honestly, the Kiwi does not sound 10 times better. But if you're looking at the ratio of price to sound, this little Spark, it's right up there.